What lingers in my mind more than anything is an ambiance of low light and lace curtains revealing a stray glimpse of the outside world. The ink on her arm where I run my fingers, a sense of connection, fleeting perhaps yet still forceful enough to keep rippling through memory all these years later. Empathy. The creature licks her hand cautiously, having long been conditioned to be leery of kindness, quick to anger, and ready to pounce, believing that a blood-soaked muzzle might please a master as unconcerned for his century's needs as he is for his brides, another trophy won through guile instead of wooed with affection. Deep within those caves, dripping water echoing off cold stone walls, she kneels beside the three-headed beast, gently stroking each neck, knowing in the end that all animals are the same, wishing to please, blind to a master's faults. Whereas her eyes are open, well, almost. Despite all her care, she missed that one decisive trick. Who would have thought ail a pomegranate, pomegranate seed, yet that's all it took to trap her and bend her to another's expectations. Wow. Quicksand. I didn't think of you when I first heard the news. It was only later, as I was listening to an album, that my thoughts drifted back to how I first experienced these songs. We were in our final days by then, no longer trying to be together, simply trying to pick up the pieces with the least amount of injury. And now, remembering your deep connection to this music, I wish I could break the silence between us by saying how thankful I am for your guidance and opening my eyes a little further. If only there wasn't all this bad blood, I regret the bridges burnt, wanting more friends than enemies, yet never being any good at breakups when everything cuts too quick, wounds too deep, and all you can do is hurt each other. Years later, I wish a scrap had remained, allowing, allowing for some tenuous connection without the fear of being misread. Acknowledgement of what we gave each other. Thank wow. you.